Hey everybody, so um, I thought I would make a quick video. Um, I thought about it after I'd already started the process um, of repairing this screen door. And this is normally the screen door that is on this doorway here, which is obviously the doorway uh, between the garage into the back room that goes in to the back door. And uh, the dogs have done a little bit of damage. I had fixed this once and it worked. It lasted a good long while. And so I'm just going to fix it again the same way. But um, this is the bottom of the door, um, which I had put this, um, I guess this Rabbit, rabbit wire, I guess is what I call it, because usually that's what's used for rabbit cages, and then screen over it. Um, so I'm in the process right now of taking this, the old stuff off, and then I'll replace it with new. Right now I'm just pulling out these old staples. The handy way for me to do that is just with a flat screwdriver and uh, I'm pulling out the old staples here and that's how I had, that's how I had secured this in the in the uh, the inside of the door frame was staples my handy dandy Stanley stapler I have used this for so many different things comes in handy for Lots of things. And um, so, and that's the way I'll do this again. Because, like I said, I mean, the first time I, I did this, I knew I had to put more, <clears throat> put more than just <clears throat> screen on the bottom of it, obviously, because the dogs would just go straight through the screen. And I need something that, when I need them to be in the garage, that they're not going to just tear up right away. And so I had, we had gotten some of this rabbit wire, and to be honest, I don't remember why we got it. Um, but we, you know, we had it. And so when I was trying to think of how I could, what I could do, what I could use for this door, I thought, well, that would work. So, the rabbit wire to keep the dogs from coming through it. The screen, obviously, to keep the bugs from coming through it. And um, and then I have a piece of plywood that I put across the bottom here to just for extra reinforcement because you know, face it, we have German shepherds. It's not like you know, little dogs, and so. I wanted to make sure it was sturdy and dog proof as much as possible. And it worked, so. I think the last time I did this was before I'd really started doing much on YouTube. And after I'd done the project, I was telling my husband about it. And he says, well, did you YouTube it? And I was like, no, I didn't even think about it. And so this time I was out here getting started and I almost grabbed my phone and brought it out with me. And then I was like, no, nah, I don't need my phone out there. And then I got started and I was like, well, yeah, this might be useful information for some other gal that 
you know, her husband's away, be a truck driver, or, you know, whatever reason, or maybe a single mom, or whoever might find themselves watching my video, if the little things that I find myself doing can be helpful to someone else, then why not share it, right? And sometimes the way I do things are a little bit unconventional, but hey. I usually get things accomplished. I make a good effort anyway. Okay, so I have this all have this all ripped out now. And so now I need to cut my um, my new piece of rabbit wire. Okay, so I've got my rabbit wire out. Ellie is being a big helper and holding it down for me along with the cement block. But anyway, so this is my old piece that I've got laid out here. And it actually is the same length that way as the roll, I think is 36 inches or 32 inches, something like that. So I just laid it up against, lined up the edges and I already cut, I already snipped it right there. And so that's the line I'll follow up to cut my new piece. My handy dandy snips here. And I'll just snip it all the way up. Mm. Right, Ellie? Right. <laughs> okay, so <coughs> I have the rabbit wire cut now to fit right here on the inside of the frame. Corners are lined up, flush. And then I'll do the sides. So I've got this in now and um, now I need to find my screen up here on the shelf where it's all dusty. That put together. Okay, so once again, the, the width of the roll of screen is the exact size that I need. So I just need to cut it to fit the width of the door. So, I think what I'll do, I'll come over here and staple this side. Here we go again with the staple. I 
I know somebody is out there probably saying, dang, woman, that's loud. Sorry. So, let's stretch it across here with my edge. Yeah, I've had this knife for probably close to 20 years, 15 years. Fun fact about me, that I used to work in a manufacturing facility as a forklift driver. And um, yeah, given the fact that it was a factory and there was a lot of garbage and drama and just stupidity involved with that whole period of time in my life, it was actually a job. The, the, the work, the job itself, I really enjoyed it driving forklift. So, anyway, I like my job now a lot better though. Alright, so I've got my rabbit wire on now and the screen on. And I've got it all secured around the edges with staples. Put in quite a few. Make sure it stays in there because that's really what holds it on. I mean, these little pieces of trim, you know, they kind of keep it all together, but it's not really what holds it together. So, um, so yeah, I've got that all in there now, and I'm going to uh, put the trim back on now. piece of trim on here. Okay. So now a little trick that I since my trim nails are kind of bent up and some of them are missing and these little pieces of trim, sorry, I'm making a lot of noise. Um, don't hold hold the trim on that well. Handy dandy stapler. So I will just go around the edges. I'll show you where I'm doing this at. So here where the edges of the edge of the trim meets the edge of the door. I'm just gonna go along and put a few staples along there because you know the those little trim nails they don't they don't hold the trim on they're very tight and uh so i'm just going to reinforce it with my stanley stapler okay so now i have flipped the door over and i mentioned earlier in my video that i have a piece of plywood that i put on the bottom to as um, dog reinforcement. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on now and then I'll hang the door back up. Just a little piece of plywood that I had I cut um, the last time I fixed this door, and yes, I cut it myself. Um, to use for this purpose. And just 
with one screw in each corner. And the holes up. All right, so I got the plywood on and I tightened this up. It was bent and floppy, so I got that tightened up. And now I'm going to hang the door back up. All right, and there we have it. Screen door repair. And over on this side, have the spring to hook back on there. Voila. Okay, project accomplished today. I hope you Take something from this video, learn something from it, or at least get a smile out of it. Um, I'm glad that that one project completed. And um, now I'm on to the next, which is inside homeschool stuff, paperwork. So, so this is done. Hope you all are having a good day. Catch you next time.